everyone. So this is the video on how to perform an explicit dynamic by using NSYS. So if you're looking at the NSYS interface, we will drag out the explicit dynamic and we will have a few options or few settings we need to do. So first it is on your engineering data and then turn on your engineering data sources because we are performing explicit dynamic so we cannot use the general material that we used to use in our static structural analysis uh, instead of that we have to choose the material from the explicit dynamic And if you're looking at the list of the explicit dynamic, if I pick one of it, so you'll be seeing that their properties will be very different from the static structural or the general material that's available there. Because some of the properties it is required for the explicit analysis. So for example, some of the um, strength continuous, so that will be very important here and that doesn't appear in the general material. So now I pick a few material that it is going to put into my model. For example, that I'm putting this concrete. And then I am also choosing another one that is aluminium. Okay, then we can turn off and back to our project. Now I will import one of my explicit. So you can model your explicit model. One of the biggest features of explicit is the body interface so that means it will definitely have two solid body and then most of the time it is talking about the collision so you can model your model so I have one and then now I have successfully import the model and next I will open the mechanical Okay, and this is the model. So very obvious, this model will be going to collide with this board. So the material you can choose, just now I have selected the material from the explicit library. So there will be these two again, we will be select accordingly over there. Example this I will be choose a concrete and another part that I will choose as the aluminum. So remember this is very important because only explicit material can be used for the explicit dynamic analysis. But the other or the setting beside this that will be quite straightforward. We don't have any connection that might need to establish something like the contact or even the body body or body ground those kind of connection or joint so that one actually will just leave it but the body interface or body interaction there by default it is there already and this feature it is the highlight of using explicit dynamic so now I can just do a very general solve
Okay, for the explicit dynamic setting, I already have a example that I already fixed it. So I explain accordingly here, because the analysis process for explicit dynamic, even though the time is short, but it also takes some time for it. Okay, first it is the fixed support. I fix the support on the edge, but not the surface, because I want to know the body of the object can it penetrate the board or not so that's why I fix if I fix the side over here then they will not moving so the penetration cannot be simulated and I will also set the velocity as a stepping up which is an acceleration we know that force will only happen when there's acceleration so that's why I'm setting in a tablet format. Okay, I have set my time step. That will be very short. But basically, we can also put in it as an acceleration, how it happened. So analysis setting. You can set your end time or your time step actually it is very small, no problem for that. So fix and also velocity. So now when the time you are solving it, which I skip that because it takes some time for it. But most important thing is you can observe in your solution information using the energy summary. And here you will be seeing that especially on the contact energy where it is from zero and have a fluctuation up then we are knowing that the collision is happening in this particular sequence so now we take a look at the animation so by that then we are knowing how actually is happening and this is true scale and this is the stress and basically you can see the object how actually it go and then the energy and this is the prop so that's why basically just for you to refer to the graph So this is how basically we can simulate the explicit but depend on your analysis model so you can get the outcome or the result accordingly.